Kayla, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my top five must-haves for your first day of being on the swim team. Super exciting. So with that being said, let's just get on with the video. So my number one thing is obviously if you're going to be on a swim team, you need a swimsuit. So I recommend some high quality swimsuits like this one is one of my favorite ones. It is the Michael Phillips suit. I know this one is super pricey, but I got it on sale, so that's why I love it. Super high quality. So how it works is the higher the polyester percentage, the longer it will last, if that makes sense. So I have this Michael Phelps suit is a good one. Another one is the Nike ones. Like this one is just a cool pattern that I have. This is the back of it. This is another one I really recommend. And then my last one is Jolin suits. Jolin suits are on the pricier side, but they are really good quality. And that's why you see a lot of swimmers have them because they are really good quality. So this one is just the palm tree pattern with the tie back. Um, and has slips on the side. So these three brands I really recommend. They are so super good quality this one was for my friend and she's had it for a while so it lasts that's my first thing my second thing I recommend is caps the thing is with caps they are not supposed to keep your hair dry they're supposed to keep your hair up and out of your face to create less drag when you're swimming so the ones I recommend are the silicone caps so the thicker ones I really like so I have this one and then I also have our team caps which is the silicone one which slide on your hair less if that makes sense they're not as slippery and they don't come off your head as fast so just another one silicone ones are my absolute favorite and must-haves I will not use any other caps that are like latex I'll give you an example so what I mean by latex caps are these ones as you guys can see they're super flimsy and very thin compared to one of these that are thicker like these ones are super thin and they're good if people need a borrow cap I just give them these ones because I do not like to give out silicone caps because these are more expensive and they hold up better next is if you're gonna swim you need goggles the goggles that I recommend are the Speedo Vanquisher 2.0s, the mirrored ones or the not mirrored ones, either ones are fine. So here's one that I have, it's light pink with white stripes. These are really good quality, I love these and these are the only goggles I will ever use. Then I have the same one but in this like blue, blue color. So these are super good quality. They are ex like a little bit on the pricey side, but you want a pair of goggles that when you dive into the pool and you have them on, their suction is really good and they won't fall off. Like as you guys can see, this is already tired. But when you dive into the pool, you don't want your goggles to fall off. You want a good seal around your eyes from the goggles. That's what I look for in goggles that I use which I have had no luck with any other goggle brand. The only ones that work for me are the Speedo Vanquisher 2.0s. Those are the ones that I like. A lot of pe a lot of swimmers like them, so that's why. And they're super nice, super sleek looking, and they just stay on, and I've had problems where goggles will just get water in them, even if they have like no holes in them, and the seal is super tight. So that's why I really like. Next up is a water bottle. It's a must have. I have a hydro flask with stickers on it. Yes, a water bottle is very necessary in the summer. You need to stay hydrated during practice. I know I'm not the best at it, but I try my hardest to drink this entire water bottle at practice while I'm swimming. So yeah, I like one that's inside and that will keep my water cold. And my fifth item is a swim backpack. Here, as you guys can see, I've had this one for ages now. And 
you don't want to just use any backpack that you have because they are not meant for the pool. They're not meant to like get wet or anything. And these ones are like especially like swim backpacks that some of you use. This one I use for any type of practice, high school meets, regular swim meets. Oh, but I love them. So those are my top five swim essentials that you will need for your first day of swim. That being said, see you guys in the next video.